Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Logan from Calling Our Shop, back with some more college football picks. This video covers the week 11 slate. We have a great Saturday in store and let's make some money as always. Maybe you're watching this video for the first time. Maybe you aren't subscribed. I highly encourage you to mash that subscribe button. We're closing in on 13,000 subs. You know, Austin and, and I are always preaching this. We can't do it without you guys in the community. Roughly about 50% of you that are watching this video aren't subscribed to our channel. What more incentive do you need? I'm giving you uh, MLB picks, uh, college football picks. Austin's absolutely killing it in the NBA and NFL. Calling our shot has definitely earned your subscription. So I highly encourage you uh, to, to subscribe to our channel if you already aren't. We appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Now, without further ado, let's recap the, the last week so far. Yeah, another two and two week, and I absolutely hate it. I know I, I'd almost rather it be, you know, one and three, but, you know, we're stuck in a two and two rut. That's okay. We're, we're, I'm changing it up this week. We, we are going with six picks because a lot of my lanes that I didn't put in my video and that I played on my own, yeah, those, of course, hit. Cause, and I, I, I was regretting that, that w the best we could do on this video was two and two. So with, without further ado, let's dive right into the, the picks. And we are starting with New Mexico State versus Alabama. And I'm taking Alabama spread. Minus 13 and a half in the first quarter, right? And you know, you're looking at this one. This is just a first quarter bet. I got it at one, minus 125 odds on DraftKings. Yeah, you know, this is the first time I've ever done a first quarter spread bet. You know, we, we don't have to sweat the full game. We don't even have to sweat the first half, just the first quarter. Alabama essentially has to win the first quarter by two touchdowns, and I think they will. They're making, they're, they'll come out and make a statement against a very inferior New Mexico State team. Alabama's offense, they're, they're pretty much a top 10 offense, right? Fourth in scoring offense, 13th in passing yards, led by Bryce Young. This is an, uh, New Mexico State is absolutely not uh, equipped to, to handle them. Their defense is actually some of the worst statistically in the FBS. 126th in scoring defense, 125th in passing yards, and 125th in yards per play. So they're giving up those explosive quick strike plays, which is exactly what we need Alabama to get us in the first quarter, right? You know, limited time, but... I certainly think their offense can force the quick three and outs on uh, New Mexico's state side. 102nd in scoring offense and 122nd in rushing yards. They're not good on that on the offensive side of the ball either. So you got a really bad team versus a juggernaut in Alabama. Alabama's defense, 25th in scoring defense. Like I said, I expect them to keep them at bay. And since this is just a first quarter bet, yeah, I know the the margin uh, for error is going to be you know small in this one. That's why you know I'm not I'm not going first half spread. Although some of you guys might do it, that's a pretty decent bet as well. But Last last little bit, uh, bit of evidence we got. New Mexico State is 96 in first quarter first quarter scoring offense and 96 in first quarter scoring defense. Meanwhile, Alabama is first in first quarter scoring offense. So you got a top five scoring offense versus a really back of the pack uh, scoring defense. Even you can narrow it down to just the first quarter, and that's what we're gonna do. And that's why I'm walking that one in as our first bet. Now we're moving on to our second bet. And you know what, guys? Last week we cashed Purdue a uh, spread because I told you it looked funky. Well, I'm picking another spread that just looks absolutely funky to me. Miami versus Florida State. I'm taking Florida State plus three, minus 120 odds on Barstool. Now you look at this and you're just like, Logan, absolutely not. I want to I want to ride Miami with everyone and their mother, right? At the time I'm recording this video, roughly about 99% of the spread bets are on Miami spread. Now I'm not I'm not breaking down where the where the cash is and everything, but I'm just telling you the public consensus bet is heavy in favor of Miami, and you're just looking at it, and I, I I don't think it's that easy, right? This is a rivalry game, Florida State back to back losses. They're they're not looking good at all. Why why are, why are they uh, pretty much only getting three at home? Well, I think they're they're going to play inspired, led by Mackenzie Milton, right? You know who who's going to start a quarterback? Is is it going to be Milton again, or or is Travis going to be in there? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but Mackenzie Milton is definitely a serviceable uh, quarterback for Florida State's offense. Miami's defense, they gave up 30 to Georgia Tech, barely won that game. So Miami definitely can be uh, scored upon. I mean, look at the rest of the ACC opponents. Miami has given up yards and points to, to other opponents. Now Van Dyke on the offensive side for Miami, he's looked great, right? He's he's definitely an improvement from De'Ara King. Not trying to trash De'Ara King, but Van Dyke is a step up. Miami's offense on the road, 100th, 100th in terms of rushing yards you know, per game. 
So that so Miami, if they're if they're going to be one dimensional, I think Florida State's pass rush can can go in there, muck up this game a little bit, potentially get the outright win. You know, I wouldn't rule that out. Being just plus three, and I know what you're going to say. You know, Florida State's been terrible both record wise and against the spread. I know, and that's why if you want to be like everyone and and j just go join the sucker train, you you go bet Miami, and that's that that's the sucker bet that I'm trying to avoid, just like we avoided Michigan State last week. I think Florida State is going to be the sharp play in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in the Seminoles in this one. I don't love it. I don't love betting on Florida State. You can see the Gator banner behind me, but I just simply have to do it. Now let's move on to our next pick, TCU versus Oklahoma State. I'm taking TCU spread plus 13, minus 110 odds on DraftKings. TCU's defense or offense has been decent, right? Most most of the year, mid, mid 40s, can't, can't really complain there. TCU coming also coming off a big one versus Baylor. Uh, now on the other side, Oklahoma State slugfest versus West Virginia. Right, that that game was super low scoring. Oklahoma State's defense is is the pride of their team. Right, that's why they're so good at, at covering the, the spread. Seven and zero against the spread in the last seven. Mean, meanwhile, you got TCU bad against the spread on the year. Right, two and six in their last eight. But you know what? I just think this is too many points. You know, Oklahoma State's defense, as I as I just said, ninth in scoring, 23rd in passing, and fourth in rushing. So they hang their hat on defense, but their offense, not not exactly world beaters. R roughly in that 60s to 80s range in terms of a lot of the offensive categories. So not great. TCU on the other side, their, their offense has been great. Chandler Morris, 400 yards passing last game. And they're playing hard for Gary Patterson, right? If, you, if you're not following TCU football, Gary Patterson will be gone after this year. So those players are, are going out and playing inspiring football. And I think their offense is good enough to move the ball up up and down on, on Oklahoma State. Their defense just has to step up and, and be okay for us to cover the 13. And I think TCU is equipped to do it on the road. That's why I'm going to go ahead and give them 13. Now let's move on to our, our next pick. Washington State versus Oregon. I'm taking Oregon spread in the first half in this one, minus seven at minus 110 odds on DraftKings. Look, Oregon is one of those teams I don't want to trust full game spread because they can they're easily you know capable of getting back toward. But I I I you know Anthony Brown he had a bad statistic game yet Oregon did did cover last week that was a bit of a trap game uh, versus Washington right Anthony Brown only 98 yards passing and only one touchdown versus Washington you're looking at that that's not exactly uh, setting the world on fire but you know what Oregon's offense it's 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 ground and pound right die 28 carries and 211 yards last week. Oregon is in the college football playoff hunt, and, and you know what? This is just one of those games at home that they can't afford to come out and look sluggish against uh, Washington State. I think they take care of business early. That's why I want them in the first half in this one. Washington State's defense has been really good. Actually, too, they've been playing too well, only holding opponents to 21 uh, points per game during their 6-0 and run against the spread, right? If you're looking at you know full game uh, spread, Maybe maybe you maybe you are leaning Washington State, but you know what? I think Oregon's offense is poised to be able to put up some uh, points on them. Twenty fifth in scoring, thirty two uh, in yards per play, and seventeenth in rushing is Oregon's offense. I think you know they're just going to ground and pound, and they're going to get some. They're going to get some long sustained drives. They're going to get some points for us, and they're going to cover that that seven that we need in the first half in this one. That's kind of why I'm going to unlock the ducks in in that one. Now let's move on to our, our next pick. Utah State versus San Jose State. Yes, we're going Mountain West. I'm taking San Jose State Spartans minus four, minus 115 odds on DraftKings. Look, this is a new year. Last year, I made a ton of money betting on San Jose State. They're not as profitable this year. I'm not even going to lie to you, but I'm doing a little bit of a line reading on this one. About 75% of people are on uh, Utah State. And Utah State is is a really good team, right? They've, they've won four straight games. San Jose State has, has been up and down, kind of a roller coaster season for them. But here they are, a favorite at home. And, and quite honestly, I, I I think, you know, I don't, I don't see a reason why they should be favored by four, right? I think this should, this should honestly be closer to a pick em. But San Jose State's offense is poised to to break out of they've kind of had a season long roller coaster ride 113th in scoring 72nd in passing and 91st in rushing you're looking at that and you're like and and you're expecting me to to go ahead and and, and lay the four points with San Jose State yeah I'm not I'm not feeling great Logan why 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 are you trusting them well I I do love Starkle at quarterback 255 yards and three touchdowns last week he's kind of broken out of the slump he's been playing very inconsistently but I think he's trending upwards and Utah State's defense 
107th in passing yards and 103rd in yards per play. I think Starkle feasts on them at playing at home. I think they're going to get a lot of big explosive plays. I think San Jose State covers that four that we need uh, for the Spartans. That's why I'm going to go ahead and lock in them in that Mountain West showdown. Now let's move on to our last pick. Yeah, I'm almost out of breath, but we've made it to our last pick. Purdue versus Ohio State, and I'm taking the under 63 points in this one. Minus 115 on Barstool. Look, here, here, you know, you guys like trends, right? Purdue has gone under the total in 17 of its last 21 road games. <laughs> I mean, ain't that, ain't that amazing? They've been only averaging 47 points uh, per game in those road games, you know, combined them plus their opponents. So these games have been hitting the under, and it's not even really been close. Purdue's offense... You know, you, you, you look at what they did versus Michigan State last week. They're, they're just a, they're, they're a giant killer. Can they keep it up again uh, versus Ohio State? I'm going to go ahead and say no. Playing in, playing in the shoe, I, I think uh, Purdue's offense uh, dries up a little bit. O Ohio State's offense averaging 29.5 points in victories versus Penn State and Nebraska. You know, I think for them to hit this over, they're going to need Ohio State to get those big explosive plays. Versus Nebraska, they weren't really getting them. They only had three field goals in the second half versus Nebraska, no touchdowns. So this offense for Ohio State got talent all, all up and down. That's that's undeniable. But they don't always put those that that talent to, you know, you know, good red zone possessions, and they, you know, they have to settle for field goals. To hit that over of 63, you're going to need straight up touchdowns on both sides of the ball. Purdue's defense, 16th in scoring, 17th in yards allowed. This is what keeps Purdue in these games versus these uh, opponents that just have more talent than them. I think Purdue's defense will limit Ohio State, and Ohio State's defense, 21st in pass in, in scoring defense, which is pretty good. Now 91st in passing yards. They need to stop Aiden O'Connell, right? Aiden O'Connell in that Purdue offense has looked great, but I think Ohio State's going to be up to it. That's why I'm going to go ahead and lock in the under 63 in that one. I just think that's too many points uh, in this Big Ten showdown. That'll do it for the picks for the day. As always, let me know your favorite bets of the day down below. I love to hear what you guys are playing. Also, go check out the rest of the videos. We've got NBA, NFL also on our channel. This has been Logan, and I'll catch you on the next one.